So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make filament mica at your home under $10. So let's just begin this video. We need a power supply. It is a 12 volt, 15 amp power supply. And then we need uh, another most important thing is you can say a controller, a thermostat. This is W1209. I believe I have given the link in the description so you can buy it from there. And then we need another important thing. Well, everything is important if you want to build something. If you want to build it is this 12 to 24 volt beat controller for a DC motor this is what we need and the most important thing for our traction system this is our 12 volt gate motor which is already wired and I already uh, done the whole thing putting this 3d printed spool in place and and all the SGL file links are in description for free so you can download these files from there so let's just assemble all these things together So the wiring and everything is done and as you saw on the screen I put it the image of the whole wiring thing of this thermostat with the power supply and the hot end over there it's not in the camera sorry for that so let's just try see whether it's gonna work or not I hope it works and nothing pops off or no spark or smoke comes out so now as you can see it started working properly you can see the temperature rating is coming and all the wiring is done I've attached the photo so you can see from there how I wired this whole stuff and now it's almost done guys so it's time to test make some filament for free and enjoy as a 3d printing enthusiast so now a few settings we needed to be done in order to start producing our free filament so first of all press on the set button for all uh, it's a long press then you see a p0 then you see p1 so first of all you can see it should be hot so now we selected the hot and then p0 then p1 should be 0.1 so it's 2.0 so it should be 0.1 all the values are in the description so you can just see it from there and then comes p3 p3 should be minus 50 of course uh, it's a uh, lowest temperature that we need to put so now the most important thing is setting p2 which is which should be 89 which is the highest temperature that we want and in this temperature the hot end gonna be in so we have set p5 it should be also zero and then it comes p6 which is off so all the values are correct so now it's all safe so all you just need to do just leave it like this the normal screen will come where the temperature will be given and that's all so now you've done all the things now you're ready to make free filament for yourself so now we have to cut this bottle I got this bottle there's some little bit water inside hopefully my mom doesn't scold me because she uses this bottle to keep some water in the fridge so let's just cut this bottle So now all you have to do is just take a piece of cloth, clean it from inside because it's kind of wet inside because it has some water before I cut it. So now it's clean and remove the cap. Let's take it the stripper and strip the bottle. So you don't really need any weight. You can use your hand like this and push it down hard while you're stripping the 